Merry Christmas, guys. You too, Avi. Merry Christmas holidays. Today, uh, we're starting the priming process. You can see up there, we started it yesterday. We wanted to see how it'd come out. We had a little bit of time, so we did a little bit of the priming section. So, but we're gonna finish this bottom part, the most of it today. And then Kristoff's been working on these axles. He's been welding on these new spring holder parts. He's got this one all done. This one's ready for priming. He even had to put, on this axle, we had to put uh, these new holders on that hold the end of the S cams because the other ones was a different design It was a three hole design and we couldn't get those anymore Or uh, these bushings that like that so we had to put new holders on so that one had this but this axle already had the four hole design So someone must have done it before um, But he's got to do that one's done. He's working on this one So that'll be the what he's doing there and then we did this priming a little bit yesterday. It's already dry, as you can see right here. in time lapse but it takes a long time and this is about a quarter of it because that front section is a quarter this is a quarter all the way back and stuff and I've already gone through about half a can of primer so it's sucking in a lot Christoph's been working on this. He's uh, finished cutting this off. So these are nice and flat now. Um, on one of these, I think on this one and then that one, he's gonna cut one corner off. It's kind of thin, we don't like it. The rest is good, but the inside, a lot of salt over the years was collecting. So he's gonna replace that so that that's nice and thick. And then my mom got some more parts, uh, new brake pads. But these brake pads do not come assembled because at first they couldn't even get them, but then they could order them if they ordered the pads and the, uh, this part. This part and then the pads are here separately. Then they were able to get them somehow. We didn't really care. I'm gonna put them together, I guess. Because normally when you order them, it comes pre-assembled, but it's not a big deal as long as we can put new brakes on it. Christos fully done welding these on, on the second axle here. Then this one is um, all ready. We got new S cams, but they're actually too long. And instead of fiddling around, we're gonna put the old ones back on because they're just rusty, so we're gonna clean them up. But there's nothing wrong with them. And before we have to wait longer to get even those more. And then I was working on this earlier. I was fixing the two speed, it slides back in and out now it was all seized up I had to pull this shaft out all the way and wire grind it and grease it up so that works and then I was putting some PB blaster down there to lube that up this paint though is a uh, drying we didn't paint any more farther back yet because he was working here and he was just shooting torch sparks you can see like all the way up to here it's just before he was getting our nice primer covered we decided to leave it and we'll keep painting once he's done here. Well, I got the first brake assembled. It wasn't actually too hard. We're only ratchet tightening it because um, we called to see the torque specs and they didn't know. So 
We're gonna ratchet tighten it because it's copper bolts and just brake liners, so should be good enough to work. Christos cutting out his new boxes for size. <laughs> well, we'll get to this now. Been a couple days since uh, we've been working on this, but Kristoff is in the process of putting the running gear system together. The He's just brakes. no, not the brakes yet, Marcus. The holding hangers, but um, we're just lining everything out up. We got two new springs for the back, and then we'll use two of the old ones for the front. It's the ugliest part of the whole trailer. It's gonna be, it is. but. I keep one thing ugly that you know won't break. It's not so bad. The, the logic. <laughs> the logic. But we're lining these up. We're putting the springs on. That way it's actually sitting correctly. That one's just tilted. But it was sitting right. And it should work. Put it there for looks. Put it there for looks, yeah. Right now I'm working on this front hanger. That front one. They come like this. But I gotta cut the top uh, like this. Here's the old one. I already cut the other one. I gotta cut it off because it's not the right one for the trailer, but they don't make that hanger. They make all the other ones, but this one. So to make it, you gotta cut it so it sits at the right angle. But I'm just using a disc grinder with a cutting blade. And I already measured it out and I'm cutting it. I'm almost done. And then we're welding them on over there. And I don't got a workbench since Ferdy's using it, so we're using the back of the 18 wheeler and I got it clamped on somewhat. So it's working. We're setting in uh, the back springs. This is just a shaft that uh, is just added in for support. That can get pulled out, unless you welded it. I'm gonna cut it and weld it. Yeah, we're just gonna weld it so that that way there's more support for side to side. Now we are, this one's tacked. We're tacking that one, making sure it's all at the right heights and everything. There's a shaft that goes through this one too. Kind of tight right now, but oh no, he could spin it. That'll come out too after, before we finish weld it. We're doing more measuring. We're measuring from the center of the spring because that's where the axle, where the jack stands are sitting, that has to sit right here. Oh, right here. Yeah, we gotta move it. So, we gotta move it over a little. That way it sits good. We did a little bit of adjusting. Make sure that this measurement was right. We had to slide that over a little. This pipe slot, or it turns a lot better now. So, this is gonna come out after, and he's gonna fully oh, weld. It's stay in there. Oh. Well, he's gonna put it to the right spot. Weld it, leave it in there. And then, uh, like all this has to be welded all the way around on both sides. Now all of them have to be welded. And then technically, we could put the uh, axles. The axles on. And, uh, Actually, I got paid for it. Oh yeah. We have a lot of stuff going on. We really don't know how we're doing it. <laughs> I mean, one second we say we're gonna prime it all and not put the hangers on. And now we're putting hangers on. We're not even done priming. The front's all done priming from here to the front that you can see. And I fixed the two-speed jack. And pretty much as soon as these are welded, we can finish priming it to here and putting the axles on. Because even the axles are primed. The measuring man himself. Oh, you squish. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, it's going to be. Yeah. It's as good as it once was, that's for sure. It can't be any worse. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Oh gosh. Kristoff uh, got done welding. All the hangers. You don't need to show them. It looks awful, some of them. No, it does not. It's upside down welding. What do you want? Well, it came out really good. But uh, he's taking the springs off now. 
I'm cutting uh, these cross members that'll go from that tube to the hangers sideways and down to the frame. So I'm cutting those right now. That's what's going in next. And then the springs are coming off for now. What? Say hi to your dad, Pete. Come on. Hey, dad. I just got the first one made. He's grinding off the torches. And then I took that one and I marked out the exact markings because they're going to be the exact same thing. So I'm going to cut this one now. Well, a little bit of cleanup. It'll work. We're putting in the last one. Right here. That one behind them's done. This one is also almost done. This one gets four. Because that's how it was, and that's how we're putting it back. Good but enough. Welder, she's done. Your stuff's professional welder. Somebody wants me. Always got a remark. <laughs> With that cut mount, yeah. Well, you know what? Look at all the filling I gotta do. Yeah, I fill that gap. We don't have any proper measuring tools, so. But this thing, after that, we got a prime, and that'll be the last thing to do today. And the next project, we'll be throwing the springs on and the axles. That right there is the. That right there is the sad face that he's done welding. Well, that's it for today. We're done welding on this trailer, at least for now. We have a couple things at the front, but the main drive system is, uh, the running gear system is done. And Phillip's done painting, our priming for now. We'll finish it, um, Saturday, right? Because today's the 24th, and, uh, tomorrow's Christmas. So, my respect, you want to say it? Happy, I mean, Merry Christmas, guys. You too, Avi? Merry Christmas holidays. <laughs> All right, Merry Christmas. I like saying Merry Christmas holidays. <laughs>